Hello, guys. Welcome to another Chelligans video. Today we're looking at using the JNC Radio VNA to do a insertion loss testing on this device. The device is called MX304 antenna switch, and this switch can hook up up to four radios and uh, do the combination and choose from three different kind of antennas. Let's look look at it from the back. And there's four ports, four radios, and three antenna ports. That what we're going to do today is that if we are our radio is connect to the port one, the T one, and the antenna will be hooked up from the antenna one port, and we're going to see the radio transmit through the switch how much loss will be there in the between. Okay, let's get started. And the things that we're going to need is the VNA itself, of course, and two set of cables. The uh, K, the cables we can either use the general coax cable that we're using every day, and or the supplied cables from the VNA kit. Either one works. Um, just you need different kind of uh, adapters for different kind of cables to connect them together. The very first thing that we need to do is to do the calibration uh, according to the frequency range that we're going to test today. The MX304 antenna switch operate from uh, 50 kilohertz to all the way up to 30 megahertz so we need to calibrate on that band Always remember that no matter what kind of testing we're going to do, if we are going to use different uh, frequencies, uh, different bands, we always is uh, recommended to perform a calibration again. The, I will speed it up for the calibration process, and you can find our previous videos on how to do uh, calibration, or just check the user manual. Okay, and now we have done the calibration uh, process so quickly, and for now we are all set to uh, do the uh, insertion loss testings. We're going to set the traces. Uh, let's disable the trace that we don't need, and select the trace to the correct one that we need. The channel we're going to select S21, and for the format, going for logmag is for a uh, testing the insertion loss as well as some other uh, parameters. Okay, we're set. And the next will be uh, connected up to the switch. Uh, from oh, okay, it's a little bit difficult to connect this one. So let's go to the radio four ports. Uh, our radio will be connect to the radio 4 and antenna will connect to the uh, antenna 3 uh, of course the radio will be performed by uh, will be acted by the uh, VNA and okay let's connect it up mm. Okay, and for the we select to four and three, and now we connect the cables to our VNA. Um, uh, let let me make sure. I would need to make sure the cables is from which port. Uh, okay. So okay, so this one this one uh go, it's a radio port. So the VNA performs as a radio and transmit a signal through the port one. And the antenna, uh, the signal will go back to port two, and we'll see the result about how much loss is there in between. Okay, looking at the result, the 
the line, the result is quite flat. And the number readings are quite good. Uh, the DB loss is very little uh, in the whole band. So it means the insertion loss works perfectly well on the switch. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, how we're going to do for uh, antenna switch. Uh, do an insertion loss, sorry. And just for a comparison, we're going to turn off our switch and see what result we're getting. When we turn off our um, switch, we can see the insertion loss drops tremendously because they are actually they are disconnected. It's very reasonable we are seeing it, this result. Okay, this is all about today's video. Thank you, 73. If you do not yet have one of the JNC Radio VNAs and are looking for places to get yours, don't hesitate to check out the Chelligan's website and go to the product page, scroll down to find one of our distributors to get yours today.